Hi, I'm Lisa from On Your Mark Designs, and now I'm going to show you how to add an owner or a manager to your Google business profile. In order to do this, you'll have to already be an owner on a Google business profile. And you would do this if you start working with a new webmaster or a search engine optimization company or a new vendor. Um, you need to add them as an administrator. Uh, that means either an owner or a manager. So you'll go to Google, log in with the managing Google account, and you'll want to your Google account and you'll want to go to business.google.com. Now I manage many uh, Google business profiles. So I see this with a long list of the businesses that I manage, but if you only manage one, you will end up going directly here to the search engine results page for your business. It will show your business on Google and lots of settings that you can deal with. Uh, over here, there's a three dot menu. You click on that three dot menu and go to business profile settings. And then here you'll click managers. And this is where you'll see the existing managers on the profile. You can see that I'm listed here as the primary owner of my business. This is very important because the primary owner has the ability to remove other owners and managers from the profile, but no other owners and managers have the ability to remove the primary owner from the profile. So as the business owner to protect your Google business profile, you should always be listed as the primary owner. If someone else creates the business profile for you, have them transfer primary ownership to a Google account that you have, and then you can add them as a, either an owner or a manager to the profile. Even if they make it for you, they can make you the primary owner of the profile. This is very important. Um, so, I'm the primary owner, but I'm going to add a new owner. So I click add and I'm going to add my husband. So I've started typing in his name rather than his email address. And he pops up here for me. And I know that this is his email address. Uh, you can type in the email and the same thing will come up. So um, once you have that email address in there, it might show up two different ways. As long as the email address matches, that's totally fine. Um, and you'll click on that. And uh, if you were adding me, you would add lisa at oymdesigns.com. Click owner as far as access goes this allows for more privileges it allows the person if they are also working with you on your business youtube channel and the google business profile those things uh can coordinate together in the back end of google so um you can make sure that they communicate that has to be done by an owner of the business of the Google business profile so i ask for owner privileges and then you click invite now you can see down here pending that um, Jasper is now a pending owner. That means he's received an invitation in his email from Google. Uh, once he accepts that invitation, he'll be added to this owner list and he'll be able to see all those settings when he logs in to business.google. Com. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. And if you need help with your small business website, get in touch with me. I'm Lisa from On Your Mark Designs, and I can help you get more leads and work with you on your internet presence. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.